Good morning, everyone. Welcome to ULB. So it's my pleasure to welcome you to, uh, uh, to ULB and to this, uh, uh, which I hope, very interesting uh, lecture series. So before I give the, uh, uh, the word to uh, uh, Miguel, there will be two presentations about the two institutions that organized, co organize uh, as local organizers uh, this uh, lecture series. And so uh, I would like to first uh, briefly introduce uh, ULB. So ULB uh, is one of the main uh, Belgium universities. We are uh, in the art of Brussels. Uh, so we are in Brussels, we have three campuses and two sites. And we also have, uh, um, uh, we, have uh, uh, we are installed also in uh, Charleroi, uh, where there is a, a specific uh, campus for uh, biotech research. Um, so we have, uh, ULB has a very strong tradition in uh, research excellence. We have uh, four Nobel Prizes. Uh, so probably you remember the one uh, in uh, 2013, uh, François Angler for uh, his research that contributed to the boson X uh, discovery. Uh, and um, uh, in, in, in uh, some key uh, numbers, we have uh, uh, about 4,500 uh, researchers, 2,000 uh, doctoral candidates, and uh, more than 240 uh, um, PhD theses defended every year. Uh, we have also established in the years a very strong collaboration with our sister university in, uh, uh, in Brussels, which is the, uh, uh, the VUB, and a number of uh, uh, renowned uh, institutes uh, uh, for uh, different uh, uh, disciplines. Uh, our, uh, where of course, our second mission is education. We have uh, very strong educational programs in uh, uh, all uh, disciplines. We have about... Uh, um, uh, 30,000 students, 12 faculties, uh, 40 uh, bachelor programs, and uh, 150 masters. Uh, and in, in, the, in, the, in the masters, we have a large number of them which are held uh, in, uh, uh, in English uh, and also in collaboration with, the, with our uh, sister university, VUB. Um, we have a strong uh, implantation in society. Uh, so, for instance, you are today on the Erasmus a site, which is the hospital site of ULB. Uh, and so we have a, a very strong implication in healthcare and uh, uh, um, yeah, in, in education outside of, uh, of ULB itself. Um, the, the, in terms of students, uh, we have a, a, a very international, uh, let's say, um, uh, features because we are uh, we have 32% of students which are international, of course, majority from EU, excluding Belgium, and uh, also non-EU countries. And uh, this is also reflected in, also in our academic uh, staff and research staff, which is also 30% coming from uh, uh, outside of Belgium, which is probably, uh, I mean, considering the size of Belgium, huh, it's not uh, surprising at all. Um, now, in terms of, uh, of students' distribution, this is uh, 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 how the 32 is split uh, in, different, uh, in different countries. And so you see majority from Europe. We have uh, uh, a, 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 an important contribution, I mean, an important uh, share from Africa, Americas, uh, and uh, uh, Asia and Oceania. And uh, also, we have a, a number of refugees uh, and stateless students. And so with that, I'm uh, finished for the introduction of ULB. I give the word to Jean-Marie Bouclan, who introduced the Institute, uh, the Von Karman Institute for Free Dynamics. So good morning. My name is uh, Jean-Marie Buclin. I am full professor at the von Karman Institute. And on the behalf of the VKI director, I would like to welcome you to this lecture series on machine learning. And uh, I would like also to take this uh, opportunity to introduce briefly and give some, some words about uh, what is VKI, what we are doing. Okay, so uh, 
This is an aer aerial view of the von Karman Institute, which is located at, uh, in Rotsengenes. Rotsengenes is uh, midway between Brussels and, uh, and Waterloo. Uh, and if you want to see the uh, land occupation of the, of the VKI, you see it's, uh, it's quite small. So that could explain the compactness of our laboratories. Uh, the uh, von Karman Institute has been founded six, uh, for, uh, 60, uh, 64 years ago uh, by von Karman. In uh, 1956, Theodor von Karman set up uh, an association to create an international association uh, for education to uh, citizens of NATO countries. And that was called, at that time, the Training Center for Experimental Aerodynamics, TCEA. And TCEA occupied the building and used all the test facility of the former administration, the administration de l'aéronautique, which was established uh, in 1919 uh, on the same ground, which, in fact, was the famous uh, location of the VKI. In 63, after the death of uh, Theodor von Kerman, this uh, TCA was renamed uh, von Kerman Institute. So, the, uh, based on this international agreement, the uh, VKI is a non-profit association, non-profit organization, which is governed by board of directors and which is supported by 15 NATO countries, including Belgium, of course. Uh, you, you have here the, which is presently the NATO uh, country supporting VKI. So the budget of the VKI is split in two parts. The first part is the contribution of NATO and Belgium, and is 30%, and is fully dedicated to education. I will explain what I mean by education. The rest, 70%, are coming from contract, uh, research con contract income. So basically, the mission of the VKI is threefold. The first, which is in fact the, uh, the one for which VKI has been created, is education. And ed education is encompassing, is including several programs. At the beginning, short training program, which is in fact a program which is open to uh, trainee, trainees to perform a certain uh, number of uh, projects. Uh, for instance, they are included in the VKI research team to eventually perform their uh, intern, uh, intern project, internship project. And we accommodate about 60, more or less 60 to 70 uh, students in this short training program period. So it's undergraduate uh, trainees. The core of the education of VKI is a research master. So here we have more or less 30 students per year, which are following course and, uh, and are trained in research by doing a research project also, okay? And then we have also a doctoral program. So we have between 50 and 60 PhD in residence at VKI. All these PhD, of course, are registered in different universities. VKI cannot deliver the doctoral uh, diploma. The second part of the mission is uh, dissemination of knowledge in fluid mechanics, and that is done through lecture series, as the one of this week. We have also uh, some NATO uh, course. I mean, it's a uh, course which are supported by NATO, uh, two or three per year. Uh, in lecture series, we have more or less 10 per year. And we have also special course, like, for instance, a course that we give on open form to uh, about two courses per year also, or a few days. And then we organize also a workshop and international conference on research topic that VKI is, uh, is doing. The last part, but not the least, is the uh, research and consulting. 
So that is, in fact, uh, done uh, at VKI. We have uh, more or less 50 facilities which can uh, cover very high flow to very low flow. For instance, we have three facilities which are uh, world unique. Uh, I will show you this uh, facility in a few minutes. So we can make a perform study on hypersonic flow, turbine and compressor, any environmental flows, and also industrial process uh, uh, flow. So that are the main larger facility of VKI. There are four. The first on the left, on the top, is a low speed wind tunnel, three meters in diameter and 60 meters per second as maximum velocity. This facility is mainly used for aerodynamics, aeronautics, and also environmental studies. If we increase a bit the, the velocity, we, we have a long shot facility, which is in fact a facility where we can reach Mach number of 20. And that, of course, is uh, fully dedicated to special, uh, special uh, aerospatial studies. Then, for turbo machinery, we have also a very big facility, one megawatt turbine, three-dimensional stage, where we perform here the characterization of the uh, turb turbine uh, wheels. And then, the last one, which is... Uh, more powerful one in terms of temperature because we can reach 10,000 degrees Kelvin is a plasmatron, is one megawatt, uh, one megawatt facility where we produce plasma flow uh, and where, of course, this facility is also mainly dedicated to a study for uh, ablation, vehicle reentry, and debris reentry. Here you see a typical example of uh, one test in this facility. Finally, I would now uh, go very quickly through different uh, fields of, of research at VKI, starting with aerospace. The aerospace activity is covering uh, all the problems encountered from launch to space to reentry. Launch, for instance, by studying aeroacoustic. Aero Cryogenic flow, shield down experiment is uh, dedicated to cryogenic flow in the propulsion system. And of course, all the phenomena associated to vibration, particularly the sloshing phenomenon. Then in space, we have, of course, the effect of microgravity on flow. Uh, we have also an engineering activity on the development of a microsatellite. Uh, notice that uh, in Recently, in February, 19 of February, uh, the uh, Karman satellite has been deployed from the Inter International Special Station. Uh, uh, it's a satellite which has been fully uh, designed and constructed at, uh, at the von Karman Institute. Then, of course, all the uh, problems associated to atmosphere physics and electric propulsion. And then the last, uh, the last section, if you want, is all the problem uh, combined to re-entry uh, of vehicle and object or debris. And of course, here we, we see that we have to deal with hypersonic transition, interaction, gas surface interaction, for instance, the uh, catalytic uh, phenomena, flow radiation, as I said previously, space debris re-entry, and of course, uh, all the physics associated to rarefy flows. In turbo machinery and propulsion uh, uh, activities, the focus is made on all the aerothermal management of aero engine. In particular, we are uh, working in collaboration with Safran on the engine LIP. Uh, we have, of course, uh, to uh, consider high and low pressure turbine problem, compressor performance assessment. And also, a big emphasis is given to the optimization. So, in fact, multidisciplinary design and optimization. And one example is uh, the, 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 the EKI has designed an original pump 
primary pump for the nuclear reactor in development at the, <coughs> at the uh, nuclear center of Mall in Belgium. It's a liquid metal uh, reactor. Finally, the last uh, section I would like to illustrate is the environmental and applied fluid dynamics. Here we have, of course, a big activity on multiphase flow, all the multiphase flow that we can find in safety process, nuclear safety, but also industrial safety. Uh, you see, for instance, here uh, an example of a study of explosion in an urban area. Uh, we, we have uh, also a section on environmental flow, wind engineering, atmospheric and urban flow, and cloud diagnostic. And finally, the section on uh, aeroacoustic, external and internal aeroacoustic, where we have uh, here an activity for the aeronautics, aerospace, uh, cabin noise, uh, HVAC, and also rotating machines. So here, I think you have an overview, very short overview, of course, of what is VKAT, what we are doing, and what, on what topic we are, we are making research. So I would like to thank you for coming to the lecture series, and I hope that you will enjoy this week. Thank you very much. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to uh, this first uh, von Kármán Institute lecture series on uh, machine learning for fluid mechanics. I hope that uh, in this week you will learn a lot of things about data-driven methods that are now becoming in increasingly important in uh, analysis, modeling, control, and closure. And here uh, I will just like to go very briefly with you uh, through the program of the week which you have received in the first two pages of the book that you that you have but before i do that i should uh, tell you that uh, this lecture series is the result of uh, an amazing teamwork uh, i am miguel fonso mendez from the von karman institute and i had the pleasure and the honor to co-organize this course together with five colleagues and five friends um, Professor Alessandro Parente from the Université Libre de Bruxelles in Belgium, uh, Professor Andrea Yaniro from the Universidad Carlos III de Madrid, Professor Berno Ack from the Arvin University of Technology in China, and Professor Steve Brandt from the University of Washington. Uh, we are honored to have with us other five uh, lecturers, five international experts and, and pioneers in their field. Uh, Professor Javier Jimenez from the Universidad Politecnica de Madrid, Professor Scott Dawson from the Illinois Institute of Technology in the US, Professor Peter Smith from the Imperial College of London, Professor Stefano Dicetti from the Universidad Carlos III de Madrid, and Professor Stefan Gors from the German Aerospace Center DLR in Germany. We will not be here without the uh, excellent and the amazing collaboration between the Von Karman Institute and the ULB University, which is hosting us today. So special thanks to our administration and secretariat. So Dominique Landuit and Simon Krasovic from the VKI, Miriam Dekerpel and Shirley Wayne from the ULB. And thanks to our students that you have met during the registration and uh, to who you can ask questions if at some moment you need something. Uh, Arthur Pekin and Ruggiero Maduzzi from ULB, Fabio Pino, Matilde Fiore, and Enrico Confuso from the Von Karman Institute. Um, today is dedicated, uh, let's say we start from an historical perspective, is mostly dedicated to coherent structures or coherent patterns, if you want. And so we will start from the tools that were developed in uh, fluid mechanics to detect, to define, and to study these structures and to use them to construct reduced models. Um, like every day, as you see from the program, we will have two coffee breaks, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. They are half an hour coffee breaks designed, let's say, to uh, foster discussion and to 
to promote the discussion, let's say. And uh, at one, we will have uh, lunch. So both the coffee break and the lunch will be uh, served in the big hall that you've seen today, where I hope you had the time to enjoy a coffee before uh, entering in the room. Uh, please keep your badge with you as you go through the, the building, because we are not going to be the only one uh, here this week. Okay. Uh, today, at 5.30, we will have also a welcome drink all together. <coughs> Uh, where we can still discuss and, uh, and exchange. Tomorrow is dedicated to mathematical analysis and related tools from signal processing and, and uh, model analysis. Uh, at 12, we will have the first visit to the poster session. So you've seen in the, in the hall, there are some panels. I will ask to all the uh, poster presenters to uh, put in place their poster, uh, ideally during the first uh, coffee break. And then the poster will be there the whole week, so during the coffee break we can exchange uh, and discuss. The third day is dedicated to dynamical system, stability, uh, analysis, linear and nonlinear system, and system identification. Uh, and then on Tuesday we will go to uh, machine learning methods and their application in, uh, in uh, data-driven reduced order modeling. Uh, on Tuesday at 5, we will uh, go back to the poster. We will have another two-hour session dedicated uh, exclusively to the poster with some beers, also to smooth the discussion and, and facilitate the exchange of knowledge, let's say. Uh, so on Tuesday, we will stay here until uh, a bit later, let's say. And hopefully on Friday, you will come back because we will close the lecture series with uh, an overview on control, closure, and perspectives. And we will have, at the end of the day, a round table where we would like to discuss with all of you and have your, your, feedbooks, your, your feedbacks, inputs about the course, uh, etc. Um, as you see in the notes, in these pages, at the end, you find information about the Wi-Fi connection. I don't know if you have already tried and if it works, otherwise you can come to see us. And you will find also information about a link where you can download uh, a folder, which is still in preparation, where, where we collect all the uh, additional materials. So uh, right now you have the abstract of the poster so that you can already consult to see what you want to go to see the most, let's say. Uh, and we will also upload additional exercises, uh, Python or MATLAB scripts or things provided by the lecturers and slides, okay? So I think that without further ado, I will let this uh, course start. I really hope that you enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed preparing it. Uh, and I will let uh, the first lecture begin from Professor Berno Acke.